a very good morning to you all students today we are going to start with chapter 7 role of state in promoting economic development and as per syllabus we are first starting with the topic fiscal policy what is meant by fiscal policy the policy of the government regarding fiscal contains three things fiscal policy is defined as the economic policy under which the government uses the instrument of taxation public expenditure and public borrowing to meet its future needs or to promote the economic and the various social goals so what is a fiscal policy it is defined as the economic policy under which government uses three instrument those are taxation from where does government get revenue public expenditure what are the places where government is spending and public borrowing from which all places government borrows okay coming to the taxation what is meant by tax a tax is a compulsory payment that government will get from the individuals or business without any reference to special ben uh, benefits to the taxpayer so what is a tax a, ta a tax is a compulsory payment like we pay income and property tax on our income and property so tax are compulsory co uh, payment that the government receive from individuals also from individual they receive income tax or property tax or they receive the taxes from business also like from business they get the corporation tax and we do not get any special benefit from it we get all indirect benefits from it okay so example that uh, with the tax money the government will be constructing roads bridges okay investing in railways so we get the service indirectly we do not get it directly so these are the this is the meaning of taxes now the various type of taxes it's not there in your syllabus but still personal income tax it is levied on the income of the people corporation tax it is paid by the big business houses big business firms uh, then we have now we have goods and service tax that is there on the consumption of goods and services the next topic is direct and indirect taxes a direct tax is the tax whose tax burden is borne by the same person on whom it is levied the burden of a direct tax is borne by the same person on whom it is levied like income tax will be levied on my income so i will have to bear the burden of this tax i cannot shift it to some other person so a direct tax is the tax whose tax burden cannot be shifted to some other person like income tax or property tax income tax i or property tax i'll be paying on my income or my property so i cannot shift the burden to some other person on the other hand indirect taxes are the taxes which are initially borne by one individual but the burden shifts to some other individual like in case of goods and service tax what happens is Uh, first the tax is paid by the manufacturers or the producer in in uh, indirect taxes the tax is first paid by the manufacturer or producer and later on they shift the burden of tax to the consumers or to the buyers okay so initially the tax will be paid by the producers or the businessman but they add it to the value of goods so ultimately who will who is bearing it finally the buyer or the ultimate consumer so the tax burden of indirect taxes can be shifted to some other person